Hi guys. So, uh, as she said, I'm a car designer, and uh, I am here today to tell you a little bit of uh, my personal story. And I'm not going to tell you about the technical aspect of becoming a car designer because for these days my blog and many other stuff on online. But uh, today I would like to, stall, to tell you a little bit about uh, a story that is made of passion and love together with a very strong uh, um, effort to make an extra step in life or several extra steps that all together, and not only by me, but also thanks to my family and friends and closest friends, all together made me accomplish this opportunity to become a car designer as being an act of love. So, let's start. I was 19 years old when the decision was taken in my family, I didn't take it by myself, in my family, to try this big adventure of going to the United States in California, precisely at the Art Center College of Design, to study transportation design, to get my bachelor in science. And uh, my life changed, and I was 26 years old when I got my bachelor, he is with my sister the day of my degree at school, when basically I became a designer, officially, and I started working, working at Fiat. Now, it is very important, and, and now I get into the, the, the important part of my, of my speech, of my story, is try to understand the, how it has been an act of love, or how many acts of love have been possible and necessary to make sure that the, the, the overall experience that uh, touched me made me accomplish my mission. So, it was an act of love because my parents, we will let you try. So after negotiating and uh, very difficult timing, uh, making sure that they would accept that I would go away from the family so for several years, also because I am the only male in the family, so you can understand for my father, being from Saudi Arabia, how difficult it has been to be, to accept such a decision, to send me away. Well, I had to say that thanks to them, their courage and their support, that never, never uh, was um, missed, they made two important sacrifices that I will never forget, that being a great lesson for me, towards my, my, my kids, which is the uh, economical sacrifice, because this, of course, uh, uh, had an important value in this experience. Uh, and also, but the most important, the affective, emotional sacrifices that they had to make. So, this is the first one, but the second one, it's me. Because in order to accomplish the mission, the main actor now, it's me, I am playing. So what did I do? I had really to make sure that uh, my engagement in respecting this decision of sending me away with all this man involved and all this uh, effective sacrifice, which was also for me, eh? don't believe that it was all, always very nice and simple. There have been times where I felt a little bit depressed because I was in a country for the first time away from my town without speaking the language, so I had to go through several years of uh, training before Art Center accepted me. And finally I got in Art Center. So I, I went all the way trying to, to do the much I could and trying mostly to make uh, the, the biggest effort I could in my own, in my own uh, in being myself, to honor, to make, uh, to honor this engagement. And here are some of my sketches, which is the production when I was in school. And this made possible uh, for me, of course, to accomplish with a, an interesting, uh, valuable portfolio that led me the keys of becoming a car designer. But here there is also another act of love which is made also by another person. Her name is Ivy. She's my ex-girlfriend when we were kids, when we were in school. And why it's important her... Um, <laughs> come back, sorry. Why it is important? Because it was uh, a, a, a sort of a mutual support, a mutual caring that came out 
in uh, an extraordinary uh, period of our life. We were both foreigners in uh, California. We were doing the same school. She was working, she was doing graphic design, advertising, and I was in transportation design. And we were living together. So we were in our 20s, having a sort of, of more, how can I say, more responsible type of life that usually people 20 years old are not doing. And we were really supporting each other in the hardest time of the school, which was very hard school. So thanks to her, I think that I felt that, that necessary support on place away from my family to make sure that I could go over the hard times. And then, uh, here we go, we are working, so I'm a designer. I, am, I started Fiat. A crazy guy named Chris Bengal hired me at that time. And here some of my work, which is the ba my first baby, the Fiat 600, which is of course an old car today, but at that time was our first project. I was a design manager. And I had a very nice team of young designers that were my ex-students because going over and over in my story later on I will explain to you also that I also had the opportunity to um, how can I say to share part of this experience I made in the US. Lately since 15 years I am at Renault so I work over there in a design studio for research and development and here are some of my works I've done over there the Tweezy maybe some of you know that know it and for which we also the, the, the team also won at the Red Dot Design Award which is a very prestigious award uh, for the industrial design environment so we were very very happy and uh, um, after this we can see the, the overall team, okay? Here all designers, uh, directors, models, everybody's in there with the car. So we were talking about sharing my experience because I think that this is an act of love that, that I make for people that did not have, that cannot have the luck I had or the possibilities that I had. So what did I do? I start sharing teaching. Here there is someone is my ex-student also, I know, I saw before. So this is the time when I was teaching in Art Center Europe in Switzerland for four years. Then uh, I taught in Italy at uh, two different Italian design schools that are still today in Torino. And uh, lately when I do workshops uh, around uh, Europe, a few um, weeks ago I was in Zagreb, this is a photo of that. This is a beautiful photo I chosen because there is a 13-year-old guy there with his father asking me very politely if I could look at the sketch of his son. And when I saw that, I saw myself when I had the same age. And I didn't have anybody to ask because I didn't know what to do. So, of course, I, I start sketching with him. Now, this story until here is super beautiful. But even if there were lots of uh, difficulties, it's going quite well. But there is a missing extra step in making this act of love, which is not belonging to the fact of making my career a better career. It's more about my personal life, which is also connected to my career. And this aspect here, it's because as designers, we often, when we are in career, those that have the, the opportunity, I was in Italy, now I'm in France, and let's just imagine that I will be again going somewhere else uh, according to the market. It's going to be probably China. So Shanghai, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, Pekin. So how find <laughs> the right person that understand what it means to make an extra step, to follow someone that is always able to make one or that is willing to make one? Because here we're talking about the will. And of course, I've been loved and I loved, and this is not a problem. But at the same time, I think that uh, being a car designer with these opportunities, maybe, and maybe it's the price to pay <laughs> to accomplish the mission, makes this aspect, this sentimental aspect, a little bit more difficult. Of course, there is also my character. But then we can move on with the best act of love I've ever done in my life, which are my kids, Emilio and Giovanni, thanks also to my ex-wife. Here they are uh, dissimulated in a very nice uh, artistic photo during one of our vacations. And on this beautiful photo, 
I tell you, thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed uh, what I had to say today. Thank you.